Terrell Gachet versus Tim Sue. This is going to be an entertaining fight. And for anybody that's not familiar with the name Sue, you need to be. <laughs> you definitely need to be because I I, I definitely have uh, this fight going a little weird. Um, I'm going to tell you why. So this is going to be a fight prediction video, but I'm also going to give you some details about Gache and also Sue. So, um, but before we get into that, if you don't mind, please hit the like button and also subscribe and also hit the notification bell as well. So that way you can get notified of all the good content that we got this year and beyond. So if you're new to the channel, Shoot the Jab is really about um, giving the hype out to the, the boxing sphere again, but also breaking giving some breaking news to some of the new fighters that nobody's really talking about and giving some showcases to these guys that are really coming in. So that's the reason why this video is so crucial and so important. So I want y'all to really tune in because I don't think y'all y'all realize what's about to happen. So anyway, we got Terrell Gachet. He's 5'10", 72 inch arm reach. He's from the US of A, 34 years old, and he is orthodox. Um, he's got 25 fights, 22 wins, 11 wins by KO, two losses, and one draw. All right. Some of the notable things in his career, he was the USA national title holder, and then he was also an Olympian in the 2012 Olympics. Some of the notable opponents that he has, and this is something that you need to keep in mind when you when I start talking about my prediction, is Luis Hernandez. He got a win over Luis Hernandez, but it was by decision. He lost to Lara, and it was a unanimous decision victory for Lara. Um, there was a, a draw to Austin Trout, which should not have been a draw. Clearly, Gache won that fight, hands down. It should not have been a draw, not one, one bit whatsoever. But regardless, they, they gave it as a draw in that Austin Trout fight. And then Erickson Lubin, just recently, he suffered a defeat against Lubin. Look, Lara and Lubin are on a, on, I wouldn't say another level, but there's just levels to this thing, you know? Like, and Lara and Lubin, you know, <laughs> they're, they're, they're where they're at for a reason, okay? So Gache, he's been in with some stiff competition. Granted, Trout, we can say that Trout might have been a little too old, but I mean, he's always dangerous, right? And it's still the name of Trout. So Gache, I feel like he got that win, but they called it a draw. No problem, no harm, no foul. But he did get the win against Luis Hernandez. All right. So just keep that in mind when you when we start talking about this prediction. All right. Now we got Tim Sue. So so most of the American public is not going to really know who this guy is. This guy's from Australia, real quiet to the American scene. But look, <laughs> let me let me get you right. Let me get you right. So Tim Sue, he's 5'9". So remember, Terrell Gachet was 5'10", but Tim Sue is 5'9". Uh, he's got a 72-inch arm reach. He is from Australia. He's 27 years old. Okay, so he's 27 years old and he's an orthodox fighter. He's got 20 fights under his belt. 20 of those fights have been wins, right? So he got 20 wins, 15 wins by KO, zero losses, zero draws. All right. So he's he's 20 and 0 <laughs> with the with 15 of those fights being KOs. All right. All right. So now we got that out of the way. He 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 got bronze in the Australian National Championship, and that's his, I guess, biggest thing that he did in the amateurs. Um, notable opponents. He really doesn't have a big resume as far as folks that you can remember. Now there is a there is something on his resume that says in a way, but it's not the in a way. It's not that in a way. All right. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, he. And, it, you know, obviously it was a, a win, but that's not the guy. That's not the right in a way. OK, so when you look, when you start, you you, you know, you search it and stuff, and you're like, did he be in a way? No, he didn't be in a way, in a way. All right. So he <laughs> not that guy. But he did 
TKO Jeff Horn, though. Okay. And yes, it is the same Jeff Horn that got in the ring with Terrence Crawford. All right. So just keep that in mind. He was able to get a TKO victory against Jeff Horn. Now, I understand to most people, they're like, man, that Jeff Horn thing. Look, regardless, Jeff Horn was in the ring with Terrence Crawford. So regardless of what you might think, this guy has somebody that's notable, decently notable on his resume. OK, but that's that's about it as far as notables for Tim Sue. OK, so so what what are we what are we really looking at? We got somebody, Terrell Gachet, that has actually been in the ring with real competition. OK, so real guys that's got real names, okay, and that can put in some work. However, when he was in the ring with these guys that got big names and can really put in some work, he took an L or he drawed. And, but all of those fights though, to be fair, got to decision. So just remember, he got a decision with Lara Oh, he lost to Lara, but still made it to decision. And then Lubin, decision, even though he lost. And then Trout, it was a draw. Okay. But Hernandez, he got the win. The, the issue that you got to look at is that Tim Sue, the thing that jumps out to me is the age thing. Father time is going to catch up to everybody. And Sue is 27 years old, right? 27 years young. And Terrell Gachet is 34 years old. <laughs> okay? So that's going to play a part. However, the fight that I just saw with Terrell Gachet against Clark, it, uh, it, was, it was 2021, Terrell Gachet threw some serious right hands and got the stoppage early. I believe it was in the second round. And he looked crisp. He looked great. He looked young. And he laid um, Clark on the button, dropped him. I believe it was in the first round when he dropped him. So keep that in mind. Cache has true knockout ability as well. Don't get it twisted. Don't think that just because he only has 11 wins by KO, that that doesn't mean that gachet has got some knockout ability. All right. But at the same time, though, Sue, he's got for sure knockout ability. OK, but is it tested? Is it proven? OK, so now we got the age advantage going to Sue. We got the experience advantage going to Gache. We got the height advantage going to Gache, right? But we got the knockout ability going to Sue. So that's what we got going on right now. So the experience, but then the notable opponents being in there with live people that's been there, done that, you got to give that to Gache, okay? So now I got to get into like the fighter themselves because all that stuff is cool on paper. It's cool, whatever like that. But what are you doing in the ring? I'm telling you, Gachet's got ability to put somebody out of there. He does. Second thing, reaction time. He's got good reactions. I, I would say, yeah, I would say good reactions. Okay. Um, what he also has is fair, he's got fair head movement. Sue, though, I would say great footwork. Great footwork. I would say significant timing. Significant timing. But the problem with Sue that I see is that sometimes when he gets in close, he he like he's a fighter. That's the one thing I say about Sue. He's a fighter. Sue's like, look, man, hey, we I don't need the ref to pull me away. He's a he's a no kidding warrior. 
So, so he's not going to be like dipping and dodging and all that type of stuff. But he's got he's got great. I mean, his footwork is great. I I like I like his footwork. Um, but I don't really know about the head movement though. To be honest, I really don't. It seemed like it, it seemed like he can get hit. So that means that he's got to have a good chin. And from what I saw with the the Jeff Horn fight, it seemed like maybe he's got a chin. So we'll see about that. My personal opinion on this is is this. I I would not be surprised if with all that being said, I would not be surprised if Tim Su doesn't shock the world and and get a victory over Terrell Gachet. This is his American debut. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a split decision victory over Gachet. And the only reason why I'm saying that is just because Gachet needs, he needs to be locked in. And I believe that sometimes in the past, he just takes the eye off the ball. He's got too many talents, too much ability, but he just is not focused all the way. He needs to be focused and locked in on the task at hand. If Gache can be locked in on the task at hand, there's no stopping Gache. There's no stopping Gache. But Gache, you got to be locked in at the task at hand. So because I do not have faith that he's going to be locked in with the task at hand, I am putting this fight on upset alert for Tim Sue. Yeah, you heard it. I'm telling you, y'all need to go back and look at him. I know y'all might not see too much because of the opponents that he's been fighting. And I know that, he, that it might appear to be slow. Some of the fights, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Some of the stuff that I was looking at, I was like, he might be a little slow too. But look, look, listen to me. If Gache is not locked in, I'm saying that Terrell Gache is on upset alert. This fight is on upset alert. I'm I'm putting it out there. So I'm not going to say that Sue is going to win. But if I don't if I don't hear nothing, I don't see nothing pretty soon from now until, you know, come fight time that Gache is really locked in on just boxing. That's it. No no outside interruptions, nothing. I'm not going to, you know, nothing. I'm just going to be focused, locked in on Tim Sue. The Gache Look, because your power is not going to be able to carry you through. So you're going to have to you're going to have to go into deep waters and you're going to have to take Sue with you. You have to take Sue with you all the way to deep waters if you really want a victory. All right. So that's that's my personal opinion. Can Gache win? Absolutely. He could. He's got all the ability to me. He's got all the talent. He's got all the experience. He's He's been in there. He's done that. But. He's got to be locked in. So with that being said, that's all I got. I already talked to you about both fighters. I'm telling you what could happen. I feel like Tim Sue is bringing all of Australia with him, and he's going to come in there, and he's going to be like, look, I am locked in. This is my American debut. I don't have nothing else to do besides fight and win. Gache, you got to be the same way. And if you're not, Tim Sue's going to shock the world. So with that being said, I hope that y'all have a great evening. And as always, peace, one love. We out of here.